moving on then. It's a very festive looking place. Are we coming? Uh, I, d I don't think we're coming up on any place that we've seen before. More cops here. Think I'll just sit back and rest my weary limbs while these angry youngsters sort matters out. He's got heterochromia. Even before they got those big metal bruisers, the fists were obnoxious. But now... Mm-hmm. I swear, this fist is just trying to provoke me, but I'm not going to fall for it. <laughs> Are you not? These common folk need to learn to respect authority. Good thing I'm happy to teach them. Ah, to have power over the other people, that's so nice. Ah. Pantella's in a mood. Don't get in that fist way when she's in a mood. Yeah. So that's what's going on. Lantern? No, it's not Lantern, it's, it's a place. What is this place? The Lodge. We'll get to it. This is a lovely garden over here. Let's visit this garden. To which Broven? This should be a home with our loved ones. Look around you. It's peaceful, isn't it? Peaceful for the moment. For how long? The only moment you're living in is this one. Worry about the next one when it comes. I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. I'm not fit for service. Oh, is he suffering from PTSD or something? Please, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I, I'm just looking for a little quiet. Because that would say that for service. I would imagine maybe the army? He's a lovely man, Simon. But he's seen better days. Please, try not to disturb him. Because that would imply that the army is understanding of, of uh, PTSD and doesn't allow people with it to go to the army. Recovery is a hard journey. <laughs> the hardest. It needs a controlled environment. I'm sure you're lovely. But you see, strangers, it's difficult. You understand? I do. I'm an adventurer, so I'm the most traumatized of them all. You haven't seen what I've seen. I saw seeing uh, Lazal being eaten by a machine and, uh, and other things as well. It's bad. It's really bad stuff. Signpost here. The Lodge, meeting house of the Society of Brilliance. Oh, is that a, like a reference to the, uh, the stonemasons? Because I think the stonemasons in real life, they also have uh, lodges. And it's like, oh, the, wait, it's Society of Brilliance. We know them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Although, it's, I, I, yeah, we're not going in there right now. Oh, Fig is fighting over there, making a racket. What's going on, little girl? Oi! Stop a moment! <gasps> Fine. Come in, then. You might as well meet the family. What? Nothing would surprise me with your cut. Yes? Don't yes me! <laughs> I, I, okay. Hello. Move on! Commander might be away, but I keep a tidy house for her. Jahira! Harper report no leads. I'll, I'll, I'll read that. What is he called? Oh, it's a lovely house. Oh my god. Uh, what is it called? The uh, Elaranthin Residence. Wait, did I misunderstand what's going on? It's all mine. Well, not mine. Jahira's. Lovely places. Lovely things. You have crickets in here. I mean, I suppose you would. Oh, Mallard's Mark. Here we go. Are we quite sure she hasn't actually died this time, brother? She looks dead. Smells it too. Ooh. It has been a hard road. But I can clip you both around the ear to prove I am no ghost. If it would help. Forgive us, mother. We're just surprised you still know how to find your way home. Mother Jahira. 
Miss, I... Uh, these are your children. She always brings the smartest people home, too. You... Enough, Ryan. <laughs> I taught you better manners than that. No, you didn't. A sending spell can carry 25 words. Do you know how many Jahira's only message contained in all this time she's been away? Seven. Yeah, that's normal. That's just D&D. This is just, uh... Um... What, what did she say? The message went, I'm sorry, you know what to do. So why haven't you done it? You were supposed to get the young ones out of the city. And you were supposed to be dead. That's what your oh-so-stoic message meant, yes? Yet here you are. So, what happened out there? I got my skin saved by this one. We've come to take the fight to the cult. Which is exactly why you all cannot be here. Why? You plan on winning, don't you? You're the one who saved her, so tell me. Are we all doomed? Well, the cult is powerful. It's not going to be an easy fight. So fight? That's what all you heroes and harpers are for, isn't it? You are a very irritating girl. Uh-uh. This isn't your house, remember? You'll keep a civil tongue under our roof if we let you stay at all. Have mercy, sister. She's old, after all. So old! Seems I'm outvoted. See, mother? That is how you go about talking things through with your family. Now, if there's more to discuss, then bloody well come in and wipe your boots. No, sorry, my bad. I was uh, picking your locks, if you don't mind, and I will continue doing that because that's just how it is in my house. Maybe not in Jahira's house, but... Letter to... Yeah, we're, we're going to get all that. Um, This is a big surprise. <laughs> I did... So why didn't... Well, I suppose she never said anything, so it's like... <laughs> It's on purpose to, to be a surprise. She, she like, she could introduce herself and be like, hey, I have family in the city. I, like, I wanted to save them as well and whatever. But she didn't say anything. No arguing. Just tell me you're well. I am well. And Minsk? We're working on it. You'll get him back. I owe him a kicking for showing Fig how to throw hatchets. So... This cult. What's our plan? I'm not fool enough to think I can change your mind. But if you're staying, I don't want you taking up arms. There are other ways to fight. Really? She has a, like what? She has a, a tremendous hammer on, the, on her back. It's like, ignore Jahira. If it comes to it, pick a sword. I favor the hammer, but ignoring her, I mastered at a very young age. If I have to stay home and babysit, then it's your job to make sure there's still a home to look after. Take what you need, and we'll do the grand reunion when you come back for good. So, lovely as it is to have you back, Mother. Go away. You have work to do. Aye, aye, Commander. Wait, one more thing. There are doppelgangers on our trail. One even went so far as to steal my face. Huh. All right, then. If you turn up looking for hugs and kisses, I'll be sure to shoot first. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jahira. <laughs> yes? Oh, my God. Why didn't you tell me about your family? Hmm. I have given you much reason to think that... Harpers hoard secrets like precious stones, but I promise you, this was not some intrigue. Just, uh, plain and simple foolishness. As if by keeping clear of my family, I might keep them clear of the cult in turn. And if this fight were to go against us, well, they had already done their mourning. Why visit it on them twice? Well, you're right. It was... Extremely foolish. Careful now. Only I get to say it. And my daughter, apparently. I was wrong to think I could keep my children from this fight. 
They're Baldurian born and bred. The only damned reason I root myself in this place. This city is a cesspit. An open sewer of the soul that taints us with its filth and churns us out when all that is good has been stripped away. It also happens to be their home. And so it is mine. Ugh. That might be the first time I have said that out loud. Now come. We had best get to saving it. Lest Ryan turn her ire on us both. Yeah, we best... Oh my god. I mean, I also will pillage your house, but, you know. It's a lovely house. I love the... I love the, all the green. It's a terrible thing to, to do in real life, like... Because the, the, the creeping vines just get everywhere. They ruin everything. But... I'll take, I'll take, I mean, it's not my, my camp, so I'll take all the things. Look at this lovely thing. This white bread and a baguette. What's going on? Something over there. I take no responsibility for your plants. You know I'm more of a mushroom man. You've let my study turn into a thicket. Is this what I am hearing? I tended to it. I just let it thrive in its own independence. You know, same way you raised us. I raised you to be a sweet and kind boy. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I watched what you did instead of listening to what you said. This house has taken in a lot of children over the years. Mother dear was sometimes more commander than, well, mother dear. Oh, so you're all Jahira's wards. Wards, family, lifelong irritants. Use whichever term you wish. We were down the market when I was about nine years old. Some merchant started in with the usual. Yes, but where's your family? Whose son are you, really? When mother was done with him, well, let's say he won't have any sons of his own to worry about. Hmm. Nature's law in action. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> good kicking the balls. I suppose. Jord is his name. Those leaves are a little darker than I'd like, Felicia. Oh, that's what I saw. Bad soil? Uh, let me get my torch out. Which is definitely what you should do in a house. Unsent sending. I'll, I'll take care of that. Uh, Jusem. A fine day to you, sir. Are you known to this court? Well, one such evident breeding as I of House Fluffington needs no formal announcement. Sir Fluffington, an honor to host you in my manor. Jessam discovered an old family tree in my study. We haven't had a moment's peace since. Tetherian nobility. You might be royalty, Jahira. You don't want to be queen, of course, and Ryan curses too much, so it would have to be me. <laughs> Careful, girl. They have a habit of taking against tyrants there. Huh. I'm not a tyrant. If anyone calls me one, I'll have Fig chop their head off. That's... yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. What books do you have? I'll just take all of them. We'll, we'll read them in due time. Try that handbill on fungal poultices. We might be tending the engine here before long. Oh my god, Fig, stop with that outside. Battle plans. A yellowed manual outlining stuffy combat forms. Fig has added her own embellishments and looping colorful drawings of her family members. One last entry stands out. An angry face in a perfect circle shouting, You three. Go for the eyes. Boo. Go for the eyes. Yeah, we need to find Minsk. Elorathin. Oh yeah, that's she's Jahira Elorathin. I don't think we knew her, knew her um her surname before. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Elorathin's home. Let's look around some more. What a lovely place. Let's check her study upstairs. I assume it's upstairs. Could be elsewhere. Yeah, everything is a little bit overgrown. This is a bedroom. A forgotten forest. 
and some soap and a kickstand <laughs> next to the dive. That's fair. That is fair. That's theirs, though. I don't think it's Jahira's. Although, would it be Jahira's? It's a master bedroom. Although, this may be the master bedroom. There's somebody else over here. Tate! Hello. I hope you were hibernating, little cub. I can't think of another reason you wouldn't come down to say hello. J Jahira! I d d d d didn't w want to see if you were really dead. They said... Who said? Jord and Ryan. They didn't think I c c could hear. You little sneak thief. Well, they were wrong. Look! Not dead. I just... had a few adventures. Like, uh... Well... I fought alongside a warrior angel. Um... No, Cub. She does not mean me. Now, Cub. Solitude is a wonderful thing, but not too much. Come downstairs and fight with your sisters. Wait, here. I was k keeping this safe. My Harper pin. Oh, was a certain little sneak thief playing down in my sanctuary? No, no, no. Harper pin opens more doors than most. Come down to my study and see if you can figure it out. Harper, this Harper pin opens most doors than most. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I had one of these. Just send that to camp. I wonder if I can talk to them multiple times. Jahir is back. Now Jess can't boss me around anymore. <laughs> yeah, we can, but they get a one line. Jessam's journal here. He'll read it. And this looks like it's the... Oh, my God. We have nice clothes in here. This looks like it's um, the kids' room, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Empty potion bottle. I'll, I'll steal everything. It's, it's fine. It doesn't count. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go downstairs. Apparently, her room wasn't, wasn't upstairs, or her uh, study. Let's see what I can do. Correspondence from Theodore. Town whistle. All in due time. Disappearance in the city. I think we read that. What's that? That is a button. A pin slot, in fact. For this thing, but the game... Oh. That that happened. Pressing tab made that thing. Oh, my God. Jahira, your table's weird. Oh, it goes downstairs. This isn't, doesn't look very overgrown. It's fine. Decoded field report. Final warning. And a clipping of Baldur's mouth. More telling than just a, a, a leaf of Baldur's mouth. All right. Let's see what we have over here. Unsent sending. A short note marked up as a professional sending. A magical message up to, uh, of up to 25 words is a spell. No, I don't know what to do. This is a reply, but it wasn't sent back. So come back and tell me or I'll come find you. Death will not protect you, idiot. Mm -hmm, but it wasn't sent. Regarding the Slayer. Oh, yeah, it's Volo's uh, book. I'll read that in a little bit. First off, we're dealing with, with Jairus family business. Harper report no leads. Hi, Harper. I'm sorry to report that we've had no leads on the boy's parents. If they were indeed among the first taken by the cult, then their trail has long gone cold. It's a grim thought, but perhaps they were deemed, quote, unworthy, unquote, of ascending and sent to serve the cult's purpose in some other ways. I hope we're, he's settling in there. It may well be he has nowhere else to go. Okay. And a letter to Rion. Rion. We have also had no further word from the High Harper since she gathered her forces and struck out east. While her sending to you is certainly concerning, she made no such contact with us, and I cannot believe the Jahira we know would fail to pass on all she knew if she truly believed the end was at hand. Your mother will be fine. She always is. Pagis Re, High Harper of Cloakwood Chapter. Yeah, we. I don't think we're going to Cloakwood. It is kind of close, but it's not. I don't think it's in this game. The landed families of death here. I just stole the book from the little girl. If Jahiro won't trace her roots, then I will. It says there's a note there. All right. 
Uh, don't swallow the specimen. I believe... I... I don't know. I've never seen this. In this third work of Don't Swallow the Specimen, even if you have just had an overspiced curry and it looks like it might help, Professor Ollimunkle Shrewsbury lays out in languid detail his experiences cataloging the many plants and mushrooms he encountered across the mischievous twil twi twilight forests of the Feywild. He reports the fact that weave moss common to the Sword Coast has its origin in the Feywild, which explains its tendency to germinate near sources of magic on Toril. The properties of the acorn truffle, when carefully inculcated into the alchemy process, i.e. it can be used for a potion that uh, allows the drinkers to speak to animals, and many more things besides over the stretch of... Well, no, that's simply ridiculous. 6,000 pages? This is a 6,000 page book. It's got to be very, very th slim paper, then. Mysterious Moonshay. This book gives pompous but informative insight into Moonshay Isles, an archipelago located west of the Sword Coast. One excerpt reads, uh, Konomai, a queen of the... So yeah, it's just a... Uh, I think... I don't know that we read that in battle plans here. Go for the eyes. Transcribed sending. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what Jahira sent. Dwarven Taxonomy. This species taxonomy by Reginald Cultural Eavesdropper Willie gives a full and complete categorization of dwarves. And uh, I'm sure it's very good. Flow of the Chontar. I believe I read about that. Yeah. It keeps showing up. And Domovoy Invocation. I believe I have not. A flat piece of parchment bearing a name day blessing. It appears to make an offering to a, quote, Domovoy, unquote, some manner of Rashimar household spirit thought to shower the lucky celebrant in gifts. It is signed only M, along with a small drawing of a rodent lined with what appears to be actual fur. Is it? Because that's Boo's fur. Is Boo still alive? No fucking way. I mean, Boo is a miniature... Space hamster. Or, uh, what is it called? Yeah, miniature giant space hamster. That's what it's called. Uh, so I suppose they could have a very long life. We didn't see Minsk. Uh, we didn't see Boo at all. And he didn't, me didn't mention Boo. So that could be related to Boo in some way. A dark children's picture book featuring a host of animal friends helping one another to survive a forbidding forest. At just the moments where it seems the villains have the advantage, a childish hand has drawn a clanky old elven... Or has... Uh, yeah, clanky... A cranky old elven woman beating them about the head with a stick. Yeah, that's what she uses is a is stick. In, uh, not not in this not in this game, but in the... I use, I use that. Jessam's journal. Let's read Read it. A stunningly rendered doodle of a young elven girl sitting on a throne. Faint eraser marks indicate that her crown got more jeweled and elaborate with every iteration. And it says Queen Jessam the First of Tethir, ruling over the lands of question mark question mark question mark and between square bracket square parentheses. Look up Tethir, because uh, I don't think she knows what the lands are. What else we have? Correspondence from Theodore Thistle Whistle or something. Jahira, I will of course be happy to look in on the children in your absence, though I'd remind you that Ryan and Jord are now twice my height and all too happy to remind me of it. Whatever business you're off on, take care. If the children take into their heads to go herring off to help, I won't be able to stop them, nor will I try to. Theodore. Disappearances in the city. Hi, Harper. It seems our last reports were over hasty. Our investigations into the recent spate of disappearances across the city have led to the re-emergence of the subjects in almost every case. We're chasing down those last few and following up the rumors of strange shadows in the sky at night. Perhaps... Ooh, that's bad. Could it be... Could it be nautiloids? That's really weird. Perhaps we can hope it's it's just a case of some overactive imaginations. And beneath the report, notes in another hand take over. Uh, no coincidences... Absence is connected, and why return now? I think the the word the term there, coincidence, is being used in the colloquial, misunderstood way of uh, just a coincidence, rather than, you know, things coinciding, because they do coincide. The p fact that people look at the sky when there's shadows about. A meandering letter from a traveler to her family back home. The main text is marred with scratches and con corrections. A code translated in a 
firm hand down below. Hi, Arbor. Movement in the shadow lands confirmed. Absolute cultists pass where the shadows there are deepest. No clue as to how, and no means to follow. Lights spied in moonrise towers from afar, and great movement of forces through the dark. They are gathering an army. Bring more harpers. Bring means of mar making light and quickly. This makes so much sense that there's so much stuff to read about Jahira in her house. Because, for one, you can she can die. She can, she can not follow you, I think. Or she can just not be with you, or you can kill her. And then you learn about what she's going through here, but that's that's from a like a utilitarian gameplay based perspective. If you think about it just from a, a world building perspective, people making we're gonna make Jahira's house. Well, it's gonna be full of communications from the Arpers because you know that makes sense, and it's lovely. Final warning here from uh, Manip Regis, Bloom Ridge Garrison. A missive printed beneath the burning emblem of the flaming fist. Deep quill slashes indicate a certain level of irritation on the part of the writer. Residents of the Elorathin House, I will remind you once again that the guardianship of the lower city falls exclusively to the Flaming Fist with additional support from the new Steel Watch. We do not require the assistance of any private citizens in the settling of street disputes, no matter how extreme those citizens deem the Watch's response to be. Jord, we've been happy to overlook your mother's association with a certain illegal organization due to your family service to the city. Do not make us regret it. Ryan, if you're so keen to bust a new a few skulls, then you are welcome to re-enlist. Oh, Ryan was part of the the fist. Hmm. And clipping Baldur's mouth. Let's see what that is. Beloved ranger bewitched! Citizens of the city were turned, sorry, were stunned to find a local landmark absent when the sun rose over the wide this morning. The beloved ranger, a statue dedicated to a hero of the city, was removed from the perch overnight with reports of a struggle and sound of battle during the dark hours. A city watch had no comment to add, but the market square told a clear tale of smashed cobblestone, scorched tiling, and blood speckled stalls. Whatever force wrestled, they arrest the ranger from his perch. He did not go quietly. That's uh, we read about this in the in Joaquin's rest. Uh, that's the statue of Minsk. Pay no mind to those. You're probably safe so long as I am here. They're straps. But if you do not trust me, take the weight from the pressure plate there. There's straps here. I don't see any pressure plates. I see a carpet. So where are we? I don't see any pressure plate. I'm gonna save just in case, because the fact that I don't see pressure plate is upsetting. The orb casts glyphs familiar to the druid of ownership. Overwhelming it with the same element can often disable the enchantment. Frosted orb. And the scorched orb. Have no fear. The traps aren't meant for you. But, uh... Better to stick close, eh? What if I just want to disable it? We can do that. Right? Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Might as well. Let's get rid of... Uh, magic Missile. You don't have Magic Missile because I had Remove Curse. I thought he had a, a cantrip for... Yeah, Ray of Frost. Why don't I have Ray of Frost down here? Am I blind? Because I didn't like it, maybe. Let's put the... This thing back. That did it. What if I touch it? It's stuck. Okay. Call and I answer. Yes, Crackling orb. Oh yeah, she had this. But I think Gale can do that with magic. On the double. And that's poison. Oozing orb. I think it is poison. That works. I think that's just to prevent us from coming here. Or not prevent us, obviously, but to give us a little bit of a headache to come, if we come here without her. After having killed her or having her killed or something. And she could die. Or I suppose not follow me. I still don't know if... Uh, that's me saving, by the way. The only patch of wilderness this city permits me. There ought to be supplies here to aid us. There's some gardens around. 
All right, it's lovely. Oh, there's a tapir. Or a badger. It's not a tapir. What? It's a badger. Do we have a uh, speak with animals on? We do not. Messenger rats. Okay, we definitely need speak with animals. Let me just make the potion. Because I can. And that way I keep track of uh, how many I still have. Lovely place. Hello. Let's talk to the badger. Very well. The arch druid's eyes and ears have fallen away in her absence. I'm training new ones. Oh, really? Down by the blushing mermaid, there's a stink of something fey. Smell of ass, too. But boss doesn't care about that. It's only the fey bit. I bring word of gnomes. Gnomes in the sea. Oh, really? My gnomes. <laughs> There's been killings in a holy place. Stinks of incense and blood. I think that's the... I think we've seen these. I did not nibble at the body, no matter how much I wanted to. Good job. If you are not meant to be here, the arch druid's traps will see to you. If you have business, be about it. If you do not, poke around and see what happens. Hmm, yeah. It's interesting that Jahira doesn't say anything. Wait, should I talk to them with Jahira? Let me guess, you need something. <laughs> no, they just growl. Still alive. She does not have speak with animals, Progress. as far as I know, I and I'm not giving her the potion. All right. What's hiding here? It's a heavy chest on top of a thing. Perception fails as well. Hmm. Oh, some fruit and potatoes. It's probably a plank. Never gonna see it. Trump. At least I don't think so. Wait, was there... Oh, loose blanks there. Sorry, Jahira. Just lost all my extra health. Okay, a key. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I'm blowing your stuff up, Jahira. Not only am I stealing your things. It's about the Harpers there. I believe we've read about the Harpers, so we don't need to see that. I'll check it out in due time. Can't see that. Oh, it's about the ball. Yeah. And, uh, we have potentially potentially a note to Jahira's spouse, or I can't do that, though. Let me see what I can do. No, I can't. Or a note from Jahira's spouse. This doesn't have anything. A bookcase. Keen eye. But if it's supplies you seek, weapons to aid in our fight, you won't find them behind that door. There is nothing back there of worth to anyone but me. I'm sorry, Jahira. I didn't mean to pry. Oh, you need not apologize. I only seek to spare you some disappointment. On my word. All you will find inside is dust. And the moldering keepsakes of a much younger woman. But then... Perhaps I make too much of this. How can I beg privacy when I was not half so trusting on our first meeting? Pass then. Go on. See what it is a foolish old harper thinks worth hiding away. This clanking. We have a key. Before we go in, though, and I do want to go in, let's read about the Harpers. The Harpers are a secret of organization. Yeah, yeah, that's what we read. The Ballspan, uh, Ballspawn Saga. It's a popular novel. And my dearest wife. 
Since you've forbidden the writing of poems, I had to get creative this year. I tracked down a retired Cormirian war wizard with a magical method of transferring mental imagery to parchment. The art is imperfect and perhaps better suited to espionage than name day gifts. With all my love, and from a safe distance, Khalid! She's keeping this from Khalid! Wow. So she basically, Khalid was uh, her husband in Ball's Gate 1. And, uh. Yeah, she's carrying this still. Beneath the note, a small inked picture of a smiling couple. Their mouths gape far too wildly, their joints twisting ever so slightly. But beneath distorted brows, you can just about make out a much younger Jahira and a bearded man wearing a Harper pin. Yeah, they were both Harpers. I kind of forgot about that, actually, because, you know, the Harper plot and all that uh, mostly happens in Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, although they are presented to us as Harpers. And we have another popular novel over here. It's part two of the Ball Spawn saga. All right, let's go in. See what things we have in here. There are memento, and I'll steal, but there are mementos of uh, a much younger woman. We have Belm. Which is a a sword. The Staff of the Rem. Which is a staff. I don't recognize those. The Right of Timeless Body. And a pouch. Right of the Timeless Body. What's that about? That's Jahira. Well, we can read it. It's a confused spread of cryptic symbols cobbled together by the same hand, seemingly over years. Neat notations impose order on the chaotic sketches, describing some manner of druidic ritual, its purpose unclear, and its practice incomplete. Already feeling better. Yes? I found uh, this strange scroll in your sanctuary here. Something about a timeless body? Ah. The threat of spanking never kept the children from poking through my things. Why should it deter you? It is a ritual, or it describes one at least, practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging, extend their life well beyond its natural reach. In greener days, I might have been strong enough to do it. I might be yet with the right preparations. Oh, so you you plan to do it? I make no plans. Only contingencies. Do not look at me like that. I have been content to see the span of my natural years. A privilege far too few in this world can claim. I do not speak of clinging to life for its own sake. I just look back on that life's work and I wonder, is it done? The dead tree plague the world still. The city still falls prey to small minds like Gortash or lost souls like Orin. It is every Harper's hope to be a light that drives out darkness. But I've lived long enough to see so many of those lights burn out while the shadows cling stubbornly on. <sighs> Knowing that, isn't it our duty to burn on if we can? To fight for as long as we are able. <laughs> You're preaching to the doomed choir, ma'am. You've done more than your share of fighting already, Karlak. If there's one person I would trust to make the most of a longer life, it's you. Well, it's only natural to want more life. Of course. It is our way. Just as it is death's way to meet us along the path, gently oblivious to whatever it is we want. I spend most of my life fighting those who try to escape their end. Gatherick, Erenicus, Saravok. <laughs> that is not company I would like to keep. In truth, I had put this ritual from my mind. Until last light. Trapped in that darkness. I turn to my research again. What if I was a little stronger? As fast as I once had been. Then you came. 
and made the question moot. But I kept this, just in case I told myself. A final resort. Perhaps you were not the savior you seemed. <laughs> I had learned better than to think of life as some simple tale after all. There is no guarantee of happy endings or true heroes. I believe that still. But when I look on all that we have achieved since, I wonder, perhaps it is not heroes we need. Only people who are willing... to try. I do not know what manner of story that makes. But I do know that without an ending, it would be no story at all. So I will accept mine. When and however it comes. As for this city story... Well... Well, that is entirely your problem now, Cub. I'm honored you think of me that way. Ha! Do not thank me for slinging a weight around your neck. I might start to feel bad. <laughs> I do mean what I say. But I am also a harper. In every honeyed word, there is a hook. But I do not plan on going anywhere just yet. And besides... You still have a tadpole in your skull. You are almost certainly going to die first. Yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah. It's a good point. It is a good point. Still don't know where the game is going with that. It, it, it feels narratively fitting. <laughs>